It's day 20 of the Israel-Hamas conflict. When is that ground operation going to happen? Will the 200 hostages be brought back? I'm in the heart of Tel Aviv where families and friends of the hostages have escalated their protest and their message to the political and military leadership for the hostages to be brought back. Over the next hour, all of my ground reports from across Israel to tell you where things actually stand. And they are on tenterhooks with the Israel-Gaza conflict threatening to become a wider West Asian struggle. President Joe Biden has said that the India-West Asia-Europe economic corridor may have been one of the triggers for what the Hamas did on October the 7th. Now this goes down to being aligned with many things that have been said on India today of how a normalization of relations between Israel and the larger Arab world may have been a strategic threat to countries like Iran. Here's what President Biden said and what the implications could be for India and beyond. The Wall Street Journal cites a US intelligence report to suggest that Iran, far from being just a handler of proxies like the Hezbollah and Hamas, actually on its own soil, using its Al-Quds forces, trained and armed Hamas terrorists specifically for what they did on October the 7th. If this is proven to be true and the US has so far denied anything in this intelligence report and what the Wall Street Journal has reported, if it turns out to be true, it would be for the first time that the prospect of a direct collision between the United States, Israel and Iran could be on the cards.